I think this is the one I probably get the most often from folks. And they say, Yeshua may be his Hebrew name, but Jesus is just his English name. Does the father condemn me for using the English version of his son's name rather than the Hebrew version? I've even recently, well, I mean, this the, the whole um, Hebrew Israelite thing is, is new to me, first of all. But I've discovered that there are even some amongst the um, um, Hebrew Israelites who also support and believe this, that it's okay to still use Jesus and God when referring to the Father and the Son. It's, that one is just totally beyond me. So, um, but this is my answer to those folks who all say that Jesus is just his English name. Okay? So, firstly, Jesus is not a translation of Yahushua, nor is it is it an English word. It's not a Greek word. Okay? So, it is some kind of hybrid that came about but so um you can't say that it's just an english version of his name because it's not an english word it's not even a greek word and secondly it is common practice around the world not to translate personal names they are however transliterated okay um but the funny thing is, if you've ever seen any of these Christian uh, preachers who will uh, go overseas uh, to folks who don't speak English and they'll have the translator standing next to them and he'll translate what they say, you know, and they'll go and, you know, uh, Jesus is Lord, you know, and then the guy next to him will say, Jesus, that is, you know, something unintelligible. He doesn't translate the word, okay? So... That just doesn't happen in our world. We do not translate people's personal names. You know, you can, uh, if you listen to anybody in the foreign language, you always catch the name of that person. Um, over here, we don't translate Osama bin Laden. You know, we don't translate Saddam Hussein. Those aren't their English names. Those are their names. Those words aren't translated. Okay, so that's a myth that you translate personal names. It just doesn't happen. Commanded. We are commanded to use his name as given to us by his father. We are commanded by Yah to use his name as given to us by him. We cannot, we do not have the authority to make up substitutes. We were never given that permission. All right? Um... So, uh, I'm not sure how much clearer I can try to make it, folks. The question for you is, what name does Scripture command you to use? After all of the scriptural evidence that I've presented to you in this series, are you still willing to entrust your eternal salvation to the name of Jesus? You are not alone in this. There are hundreds of thousands even millions of people who have been deceived like you. That serpent of old called the devil and Satan who leads all the world astray. Revelation 12, 9. Nearly all of us Americans were hoodwinked from birth into believing that the Savior's name was Jesus. Realize now that when you call on the name Yeshua, you are invoking the Father's name as well and petitioning the only ones who can give you salvation. The only ones who can keep you afloat in this time of so-called those impending terror threats. Now according to scripture, calling any other name does not do that. But today, my brother or sister, he is calling you out from the darkness and into the true light. I am baffled by the position that so many folks tend to still be holding to their beloved Jesus. 
A few are downright angry with me, but hopefully you will approach this as I did. My first reaction was one of disbelief. No way, I said. Everybody knows his name is Jesus. Next, it was curiosity. You mean the Father has a name? And it ain't God? And the Messiah was actually called Yeshua while he on earth? Then, there was a sense of excitement and discovery. They called him Yeshua? Lastly, it was love because I realized that Yah thought enough of me to choose to reveal this lovely truth to me and now he has chosen to reveal it to you. For many are called, but few are chosen. Not many are afforded in our day. Please accept it. Be baptized in it, respect it, love it, magnify it, praise it, and pray with it. Remember again, Paul's words. And when we had all fallen to the ground, I heard a voice, Yeshua, Come out of her, my people, unless you share in her day. If you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion and is in the day of trial in the wilderness when your fathers tested me. They tried me, though they saw my work. Many shall say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name and done many mighty works in your name? And then I shall declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me.